You're about to take a deep dive into one of the biggest true crime cases in the universe, or at least on our part of the planet. From the Hidden Killers podcast and True Crime Today. Ever like dreamed of being discovered, you know, going from belting out tunes in your bedroom to rocking out on a massive stage. It's a classic tale, right? The allure of instant stardom. Totally. But what if that dream came with a catch? What if it was more like a, a making the band situation? Mm, yeah, that's a different story. Today's deep dive is all about that. Diddy's reality show empire making the band. Was it the ultimate launch pad for aspiring artists or, well, a crash course in how the music industry can chew you up and spit you out? And it's about more than just one show. It gets at those power dynamics that play out every day in the music business. And why, even if you're just a fan, understanding how these contracts work is so crucial. Right. So for anyone who missed this whole era of, let's be honest, iconic reality TV, making the band basically took the competition of American Idol and threw it into the pressure cooker of like Survivor. And then Diddy was there every step of the way playing the role of demanding mentor. The promise was that hard work and talent were all it took to break through. But when you look at what actually went down, both during the show and in the years after, it gets a lot more shall we say, complicated. And speaking of complicated, who remembers that crazy cheesecake mission? Oh, man, that's the stuff of reality TV legend, sending those poor contestants on a wild goose chase across the Brooklyn Bridge in the middle of the night. For a slice of cheesecake, even back then, viewers were like, wait, is this for real? Yeah, even for a show known for pushing boundaries, that felt kind of, well, cruel. Totally. But here's the thing. As wild as that cheesecake run was... It pales in comparison to what those aspiring stars were signing on the dotted line. Ah, uh, the contracts. <laughs> now we're getting to the heart of it. We're talking about young, often inexperienced artists dazzled by the lights and cameras, the allure of fame. Our sources suggest many didn't fully grasp the terms they were agreeing to. I mean, who needs a lawyer when you've got Diddy dangling a record deal in front of you? Right, but as we know, the devil's in the details. And in this case, those details told a very different story. And it's not like, you know, we're talking about artists who are like one hit wonders and then gone. Danity Kane, day 26. <laughs> yeah, These yeah. groups were talented, seriously talented. Yeah. And they had like legitimate success, you know, they did. They charted. They toured. Yeah. This was the dream. Well, at least right from the outside. Yeah, it seemed like they'd made it. But it's like the after. Yeah. Like what oh. happened after the show? Exactly. It becomes kind of a cautionary tale, right? Yeah. And a lot of it stems Forced from the contracts. the contracts. Yeah. Yeah. We were talking about this earlier. One of our sources mm -hmm. quotes Aubrey O'Day. OK. From Danity Kane. It's from Danity Kane. Yeah. Talking about okay. how they hit number one. Whoa. On Billboard. Huge. Which is massive. Not every yeah. artist gets to say that. Right. Like that's. A, yeah, you've made it. That's like the dream. Right. That's it. But then she goes on to say we were signed to contracts that left us with almost nothing. And we had no say over what we could or couldn't do musically. And that is unfortunate. See, that's what I don't get. It's yeah. like you're number one. Right. But you're what? Making no money. Well, this is the thing. You get caught up in. It's Diddy. The excitement. Right. The allure. You're on TV. Yeah. You're so famous. It's moving so fast. Yeah. You're not thinking about right. what's going on uh, behind the scenes. So what kind of stuff for someone who's trying to break in? What do they need to be like? Oh, there's so much. But give us the like the top two things. Top two things. Yeah. Royalty splits. Royalty splits. Okay. It sounds boring. OK. But. This is where the money is. Yeah. This is how the pie is divided. Right. And very often these contracts yeah. are structured so that the label ah. gets the lion's share. Even though it's like the artist's yes. name on it, their face is on the album cover. That's why understanding the contracts is so important. Okay. Because it may look like you're getting a great deal. Right. But. Up front. Yeah. You could be making nothing. Right. On the back end. Yeah. Okay. Even with a hit record. Wow. It's crazy. Okay, so royalty splits, that's one. That's one, yep. And then the second one would be? Creative control. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so our sources talk about clauses. Okay. Recording restrictions. Yeah. Okay. The label may dictate the kind of music you make, who you collaborate with. Oh, wow. Your image. Really? You're basically... It's not really, like, your music then, is it? Well, if you're giving up that much control. It's the trade that you're making. Yeah. In exchange for that. For that chance. Fame and fortune. Right. Okay. But how do you say no to Diddy? 
That's the thing. Yeah. How do you? That's the power dynamic that yeah. we're talking about. Right. Yeah. The established figure. Yeah. The gatekeeper. It's Diddy. Versus the young artist just trying to break in. Right. It takes a lot of courage. Yeah. To walk away from something like that. Oh, for sure. Even if you have your doubts. And it wasn't just about like the contracts themselves. Our sources really paint a picture of the whole making the band experience mm -hmm. being well intense. Yeah. Like next level pressure cooker. Right. And yeah. that's where you start to wonder. Yeah. How much of this is like Diddy trying to toughen these artists up. Right. Get them ready for the music industry, which is no joke. Yeah. Or was it about creating good TV, mm. even if it kind of messed with them? Right. Because drama sells. Always. Yeah. And our sources use words like mm -hmm. toxic, um, intimidating to describe like the vibe. It's like you can almost feel it watching right, it. Right, exactly. And, you know, contestants talking about always feeling like on edge, mm -hmm. afraid. Living under a microscope. Yeah, can you imagine like- And the cameras are there for everything. That's gotta mess with your head, right? Totally, and it makes you question mm -hmm. how much was real. Yeah. How much was played up for the cameras. Because like that's reality TV, right? It's it's all about the... It keeps us watching. Yeah. The drama, the conflict, all of it. And with Diddy, it's like he'd have these groups, they'd get to a certain point, and then yeah. he'd like shake things up, disband them, you know? It's like he always needed to be in control. Yes. The puppet master, almost. It makes you wonder if he was ever really invested in like... Yeah, their long Their beat. success beyond the show. Right. Did he see them as artists? Yeah. Or just like pawns in his game? Okay, so for anyone listening who's like chasing their own dreams, uh, like, maybe in music, maybe somewhere else. What's the big takeaway from all of this? I'd say first and foremost, yeah. read the fine print. Always. Seriously. Any contract, any job offer, lease, you name it. Yep. Understand what you're agreeing to. Don't be afraid to like ask questions. Yeah, ask questions. Push back. Right. Get advice if you need it. Yes. Knowledge is power, people. Absolutely. And never forget. Yeah. You have value. Mm -hmm. Your talent, your work, it matters. Don't let anyone, even Diddy, tell you otherwise. Exactly. You are not just a pawn in someone else's game. Ooh, I like that. Write your own story. Yes. And on that note, we're wrapping up this deep dive. Until next time. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss our next episode. And in the meantime, stay savvy. In a world where the darkest secrets lie just beneath the surface. Well, they said it was an accident, but the evidence says otherwise. Where hidden killers roam unnoticed in the shadows. Well, I think you would definitely be looking at a, a blend of toxic, very bad narcissistic personality traits, and they will be vengeful and possibly resort to violence. Join Tony Bruschi as he uncovers the truth behind the most chilling cases. They said it was an accident, but the evidence clearly says otherwise. Each episode, we dig deep into the minds of those who commit the unthinkable. To your point on narcissism, he thinks in his own mind how witty he is, yeah. but he lost that jury. I, I was I was done with him in two minutes. From unsolved mysteries to infamous crimes. Geez, you've just talked about how you've taught yourself how to do everything under the sun. I bet you did a YouTube video, how to best kill somebody with a knife. Hidden Killers with Tony Bruschi takes you where few dare to go. How does someone with such a dark secret go unnoticed? for so long with multiple new episodes every single day we're not just telling stories we're seeking justice listen now on apple podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts just search for hidden killers with tony brewski